Hello wonderful people, Groovy Mom here. Today I am going to do kind of an unconventional haul. Since I cannot do a conventional one like the Dollar Tree hauls, and if you're here because I commented on your Dollar Tree haul, um, thank you for stopping by. Also take slight pity on me because I've literally been having withdrawals from not being able to go to the store. Basically the thrift store. The Dollar Tree kind of too. I don't know what it is with the Dollar Tree, but I'm just, I'm kind of sad about that. But the other one is just going to the thrift store. I'm like, I am sincerely going through a withdrawal. So if my hands are shaking, that's why. So today I'm going to do a different kind of haul. I am going to um, go through my closet with you. Because it's kind of like going through a haul because I'm realizing that I've forgotten some of the things that are in there. So let's start. Let's just get right to it. All right. I am going to go through, I don't know. We'll see how, we'll see how long this is. I don't want it to be forever. So maybe I'll do this even in three parts. Um, but for one, it helps me clean my closet. And two, um, it makes me feel like I'm doing a haul video. So, um, kind of fun. I'm going to try also not to have to cut much of this. So if there's pauses and stuff like that, we're just going to have to deal with them. We're on this little ride and journey together. All right, so here is one shelf. I really have four shelves in my closet. Um, so here's shelf one. And I have some Equate After Sun Gel. This my husband always gets. I guess he uses it after he goes out and gets sunburned, which he does almost every year. Um, I don't use it much, so I don't have much to say about that. Here, next up, is a lot of this too, like some of it I use, some of it I stockpile. Maybe I'll differentiate, maybe I won't, we'll see. This is, uh, I think you call it Tresemme or Tresem, Tresemme, Tresemme, um, Curl Hydrate. My whole family uses this off and on, but this one I really got mostly for everyone but me. I think I've used it a couple times. I have a really... I don't know what I just said. I have a really finicky scalp, and so I have to be careful what I put on it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show, and I thought about actually doing my own little review on this puppy, but this is the Dr. Bronner's um, Castile Soap. This one is hemp. Uh, this one is hemp. This one is um, eucalyptus. And then I noticed I also, this is another good reason to go through your closet. If anybody else does a closet haul, um, tell me, comment below and let me know. Um, sometimes I get like 10 views on a video and then other ones I have thousands. Um, but my haul ones I don't have as many views. So there might be nobody commenting. But if you, if you tell me, I will come watch it. I'd love to see some closet hauls. Um, but I also have a full container of rose. So I literally, I went to uh, Target pickup yesterday and I literally almost got this plus a peppermint, but I decided to just get um, this one because I knew I had the rose in there. So like I said, that's the other advantage of going through your stash if you have a little bit of a stockpile of stuff is you know what you have. Um, this is Meyer's Clean Day Hand Soap. This I got when I did my um, Grove haul. Um, and I still have it. I'm kind of kind of hoarding it a little. It smells really good. Um, I usually use the soap pumps, and so I'll probably end up putting this in a soap pump, but I just haven't used this. And I will link my Grove collaborative one up there somewhere. Okay, this Multicultural Curls Curling Gel. I've used this a few times. It's all right. I wouldn't say it's my favorite thing on my hair personally. My daughter gave it to me for Christmas. Um, at first I, w I was like, oh, I don't always like to try new things. I'll show you what I normally use. Um, what's not on this shelf, so, hmm. But I normally use this Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I don't feel like any of this is focusing though, is it? But, so that's why I'm reading it off. Uh, but she gave me this, it, you know, it's, it's okay. Um, it makes my hair a little more crispy than I would like, but um, it was a gift, and I, I probably will use it up. Um, next are the conditioners that I've been using the most. Let's see how many I have stockpiled. Oh, wait, these aren't all conditioners. Okay, so 
Um, they're Beauty and Planet. This one is the Coconut Milk and Jasmine. Target, if you like these, Target has the best. Oh gosh, that smells so good. Ooh, ooh. Um, has the best selection. There were some like $5 off coupons, I think, floating around, or $2, I think it was $5 off. Um, and so I did stock up on these. Um, they seem to all be about the same on my hair, so it kind of comes down to smell. This one is the turmeric and tonka essence. I thought this one has, has kind of a mus uh, musk smell. This was good too. So I was using, this is half empty. And then I have one in my shower, I can't remember what that's called. That might be, that might be it. I'm gonna, maybe I'll turn you a little bit here so I'm closer to the closet. That might be it, but the other thing I have that's Beauty and Planet that I got from Target, this was purely by accident. I was using the Love Beauty and Planet um, Rose. Gosh, why is it not focusing? Someone help me figure my camera out. Lord have mercy. Um, body wash. I was using the rose. I, um, I used it all, and then I was at Target, and I was trying to decide if I was going to get the argan and lavender or the rose, and I had them both sitting in my cart, because that's how I think sometime, and guess what? I ended up buying them both. It's fine. We'll live through it. Uh, this is a rose. This is just a uh, rose water. And I got this from Ingredients to Die For. And I think I got it to use on my hair, and I've, I've just used it up. I haven't really been thrilled with it. Uh, this I picked up recently. I got like a six pack of these or whatever. These are the Dove um, Beauty Bars, and these are in Pear. This is a scent I've never used before. Mmm, it smells really good. And just a tip, like if any of your soap makers out there, you already know this. Um, and I, I usually open these up and let them air out. If you're, the more you dry out your soap, the longer it's going to last for you. So I have that. I found this last night. Um, it's just a Tresemme gel, hair gel. I must have used it at some point, but I don't, I've, kind of skipped hair gel altogether, um, but I'm not throwing it out. I did already go through here maybe last year and threw a bunch of stuff out. This is a bubble bath, Hello Bello, um, that I think the baby got. And then this is on a shampoo and body wash. This is for the baby. This is in lavender. Obviously, I really like lavender. I do. Um, this is a nail polish remover. This is one of those, oh gosh, don't look at my nails when I think about it. I need to, I need to do some of those. But this is one of those things that I forget that I have. This I kind of like, I've never got it before. It's got one of those caps where you can pump to get it out. Um, this is the acetone one, I believe. Um, but sometimes I, I buy this and I don't need it. The next, Witch Hazel. Use that for astringent sometimes. Uh, sweet almond oil. I sometimes use that as one of my hair oils uh, for other things. I like. I do use um, almond oil or jojoba oil in my perfume. I have a perfume that I make. It's a patchouli blend, and that's what I've always used. Um, and so I just keep that around to use it uh, to mix with that. Then I have, which I didn't even know I had. I think it was a gift. Um, but this is Golden Pear and Honey. Is this from Bath and Body Works? Where's this from? Uh, yeah, it is. I think this was a gift. Mmm. And more than likely what I did was dilute it and put it in one of my pumps. And that's why it's in there. Now you will see the true, the trueness. Oh, one more thing. Um, this is, uh... Avalon Organics Nourishing Lavender Hand and Body Lotion. I love this lotion. This lotion and then um, the other one I don't think I ha Oh, I do have in here. Let me show you that one. Two of my favorite lotions. Oh. Alba. I don't like running out of lotion. So I do keep backups on my backups. Okay. Same thing with my Bath and Body Works soaps. Because, um, like, I literally... I'll show you. I'll see if I can hold them all. And I've been working down my stash. So, um, oh my gosh. I don't know if I can grab them all. Ugh. 
Oh gosh. If you can ever use these for bartering, oh gosh. I think I could do something with it. This may not be as many. <sighs> there's another one in there. I can't get it. Oh, there's more than another one in there. Well, let's go through the scents, shall we? Okay. Uh, peach Prosecco. Don't know. I don't know if I like this one or not. It's okay. I'm not wild about the peach scents. This one, Black Chamomile and Bergamot. This is the... Why does it focus sometimes and not sometimes? Do I have to hide? So I think I have two of those. I do like that scent. Um, I also have a Lavender Cedarwood. Orange Ginger. Um, oh, I'm going to save this for last because I want to talk about that one. Uh, this is a Watermelon Lemonade. I'm not really super hip on their fruit scents, which is weird why like one of my favorites is actual fruit scent. This is Rosewater and Ivy. And I think it's funny, these are both Rosewater and Ivy, but you know how they always like to change their packaging. So I probably just bought them at different times. And then a pumpkin cupcake, a lavender coconut. I always like pumpkin scents even when it's not. Ooh, that time of the year, that lavender coconut smells good. I have not used it yet. That one smells good. Um, oh my gosh, this is already at 13 minutes. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to split these up. Okay, this could be its own separate little one. Let me show you, though. I also have... These are my backups to my backups. These I like to have on hand um, if I'm like going camping or sometimes like a couple times that I've had graduation parties out at the um, like a, a park shelter. I'll take this with so that I make sure that I have soap. So I have a couple of those and I don't care if it gets left behind. Um, whereas I would care if my bath and body works generally. This is just a dial one too. I probably got these at the dollar store. This is an antibacterial dial soap that I've had to have a couple times if somebody has stitches or something like that. Here's just another one. So I have three of those kind of cheapo, I don't care things um, for when I need to take them along somewhere, like as I go camping, whatever. Mm, this is a pumpkin hand soap. Okay, so now on to what I was gonna tell you. This blueberry crumble, this does not seem like something that I would even like, um, but this has been like a purchase. Oh my gosh, there's, there's cat hair on the bottom. Start over! Okay. It's the blueberry crumble. These I picked up, it was like on a whim, I really wanted a blueberry something, and I got these, and I got three of them. I used one, and I'm literally hoarding these um, because it is the best smell ever. I think the reason I like it, oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. Okay, I think the reason I like it is, remember strawberry shortcake, there was a blueberry... Blueberry, no, it wasn't Becky. Blueberry something. Blueberry patch? Anyway, I think that's why, I think it smells like that. It reminds me of something from my childhood and like a good, happy something. Um, I mean, I didn't have a bad childhood, but just like it has that feeling. And so I'm like literally hoarding these. Kind of like the original Lysol that um, I guess some people like have cans of original Lysol. It had that certain smell. It just reminds me of childhood. That and a Glade too, because I remember it at my friend Jody's house. Um, but so I got, I got two of those and I want to buy them again if they come on sale because they're awesome. And then as far as this shelf goes, the only other thing I have, I have a, this is kind of like my nail kit that I take when I'm doing, I do my own pedicures generally because I feel like pedicures are usually a waste of time. Every time I go, I'm never happy with them. They don't get my feet as smooth as I'd like them. Um, I just, I don't like people clipping around my cuticles and clipping my skin off with stuff. The whole thing just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies probably once every 18 months I go and get a pedicure because I think I need to pamper myself and I it's like one of those things where it's like I think I just do it because the world tells me I have to do it because I really don't like having them done and I I feel like I should want to so I, I'm like hoping that someday I'll have this magnificent pampering wonderful spiritual whatever experience having my toenails done but so far I hadn't I haven't so, and every time I do it, every time I do my, my feet, I think 40 bucks, 40 bucks, there, save 40 bucks. So I have a shaver, you know, like to shave your calluses off. I know this is super sexy. And then these little puppies to push your cuticles. 
Um, and I just kind of keep this in a bag so I can just grab it when I decide to do my toenails. I got the big toenail clipper. I have a couple nail polishes in there and a fast dry nail polish. Um, nothing, nothing fancy. I don't really know if there's a, oh, and I have this for all the accidents that I make because it ends up looking like someone that painted my toenails with a blindfold on. Um, and then I have my wisps or whispers right here. Because, you know, you need those to take off your makeup or take off your nail polish. And then I have, I used to have one, I had a big purple box. There was a name for them. Like, everybody had them. They were super popular. And I had all my polish in there. Um, but now I've just gone. This is not Dollar Store, though. This is from Walmart, I guess. Um, but it basically has all of my nail polish in here. I will not go through this whole thing because who wants to see that? Um... Nothing fancy. You can see sometimes I paint on the side to see the colors. Uh, the only other kind of funny thing is I did get gel nails. I think it was about a year ago. And I I can't stand when they start lifting off. Mine lift probably because I put so much oil in my hair. Um, and there was a Facebook ad and it came up and it you know, was like, remove your own gel nails. And I fell for it. I was an idiot. I don't know why I got it. It's this stuff. It's about the size of a nail. Ah, shoot, it's not showing. Well, it just says removal gel, soak off, um, polish. Boy, it was like, ugh, I can't believe I did that. Don't answer those stupid ads that come along and tell you to get something that's a miracle. Anyway, I bought it, it took forever. I almost had to do like a PayPal dispute with them. So I threatened them and then they, you know, sent it off, but I had already gotten my gel nails off by then, so it didn't matter. So, that and this. See, I told you I accidentally buy too much nail polish remover. Um, that is shelf number one. And I'm looking at my viewfinder thing or whatever, and it says that took me 19 minutes and 37 seconds for that entire shelf. So, I do not think... And I'm just going to kind of wipe this shelf off. Whoops, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to wipe that shelf off. See, it's got some crud for me always going in there. And then maybe I'll get to my other shelves. <laughs> this one should be super interesting. It's full of um, maxi pads. And as you can see, there's some more Bath and Body Works. But so here's everything we went through. Everything we went through. It's all sitting here. Isn't that crazy? So anyway, that was haul number one, and now I hear everybody's coming in from outside. Are your hands cold? Are your hands cold? Yeah, Grandma's got all kinds of stuff. That's not lotions and creams. That's something else. All right, so that concludes this first one. I think I will do two, three more, maybe over the next couple days. We will see. All right, peace be with you. Peace.